Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So Mercury is going to move into the sign of Capricorn. I am here in drikpanchang.com. And at this moment, Mercury is in 29 degrees of Sagittarius. Now uh, is in Uttarashada first pada. Then he will move into uh, the sign of Capricorn, Uttarashada 2. And we know Uttarashada is ruled by the planet Sun. And why do I say this? Because Sun and Mercury, as you know, they are very frequently conjunct. But the interesting thing here is uh, Pluto is also there. Okay, So it's like a Sun-Mercury-Pluto conjunction in the sign of Capricorn. Uh, but Sun won't be there for very long. He will be moving uh, into the sign of Aquarius after a week, seven, eight days almost. And then he will uh, join the Venus and Saturn there. Of course, Venus will also move into Pisces nonetheless. So Sun Saturn will be conjunct. Uh, but for the next 20, 23 days, we know Mercury is in the sign of Capricorn. <clears throat> so what does this mean? You know, Mercury in Capricorn. Now, I've always said Mercury and uh, Saturn, as you know, they are very good friends. But the problem is Saturn is Saturn. <laughs> now, what does this mean? This means any planet that comes in the sign of Saturn during transit which is either in Capricorn or Aquarius or comes in conjunction with Saturn or gets aspected by Saturn in transit in all the three cases will suffer from some of the aspects of uh, Saturn's negativity, you know, like delay, disappointment, setbacks, negativity, pessimism, depression and all this. <clears throat> now, when Mercury uh, is under the influence of Capricorn, then it means that it is adopting a rational and a practical approach rather than just uh, thinking of certain things. Just ra Rather than just over-exaggerating things, overestimating or underestimating oneself or others, uh, it's taking, uh, it's weighing out the consequences, the pros and cons. So when Mercury is in uh, the sign of Capricorn, then it can be good for certain areas and not very good for certain areas. So if Mercury is uh, lording certain houses, which it does in your Kundli as per your ascendant, now what happens? So for example, if Mercury is lording your uh, seventh house, for example, in your, as per your Lagna, which means you are a Jupiter ruled ascendant, either you are Pisces Lagna or you are a Sagittarius Lagna, then Mercury is your seventh lord always. So then this means now in matters of the seventh house, you may become very rational. Now, is it good to be rational when it comes to the seventh house or is it not good to be rational? Well, it's like a double-edged sword, right? So certain things can be good. Certain things can be, uh, can make this placement more challenging, which means if you and your spouse, you have, uh, certain issues which uh, you know deep down inside uh, you can sort out then maybe it's a good time because then now you will sort out those issues will come to the front and there will be no choice rather than uh, solving it but suppose you and your spouse you are having a very superficial relationship which can break off any time and now you are either uh, Pisces or a Sagittarius Lagna being Mercury as your seventh lord, then this can mean that if your Dasha is not good, then there can be strain in the relationship, which means there could be certain things which you assumed, uh, but now you realize that they're not working anymore. Now you realize that they, they don't deal value. Now you realize they don't make sense. Now you realize that they're not going to work. Now you realize that that is not what should be done or that is not what we should have thought in the first place. So when you understand this, then you will either stay and uh, stay by solving the issues by being realistic or you will separate, you will uh, stay apart. So similarly, Mercury is your 10th Lord. Then also this can mean uh, that you may sometimes have challenges with your profession but you can solve these problems by being regular and disciplined. Now, why do I say 10th house? Because Mercury is the uh, Karaka for the 10th house. And if he's lording your 10th house, then 
he becomes even more important. Which means uh, if for any normal person, Mercury is very important for the profession because he shows skill. But now when Mercury is rotting your 10th house, he becomes explicitly the ruler of your career also. So it makes him uh, very, very, very important. It's like doubly important. <laughs> so during this transit, you need to check which houses Mercury is ruling in your chart. And related to those houses, you need to ask yourself, what is the crazy thing that I am doing because of which this area is going out of my hand? Why is this area out of control? Why am I not able to subdue this area? Why am I becoming a slave to this area? Because uh, when Mercury enters Capricorn, then you will be forced to make a decision, either stay or leave. So therefore, if you feel that in certain area of life, you either have to do something, you have to complete it, go till the end with the hard work, or you have to leave it all to, together and not just be somewhere in between. Then maybe now is the time you have to make a decision. So make well-informed decisions, but also understand that both your actions will have consequences. Because even after Capricorn, if you see, Mercury will go into the sign of uh, Aquarius, which is again the sign of Saturn. And as if it was less, the planet which rules Capricorn and Aquarius, Saturn is placed in Aquarius, right? So this is like a double blow which Mercury gets, you know, for two months consecutively. Like Venus and Saturn and Sun also, of course, you know, not that Mercury is uh, chosen to be the one. <laughs> but we have to understand that whenever any planet is linked to Saturn on Saturnian signs during transit, then it's like a do or die situation. Not do or die, I would say, you know, make it or break it, that kind of a situation. So ask yourself, what's, what is the crazy thing that I'm doing? And because Mercury will rule two houses always, so it will mostly be more than one area of life. Because now for Mercury, where currently he is at the moment when I'm making the video, he's in Sagittarius. And the problem with Sagittarius is he's ruled by uh, Jupiter. Okay. So the issue with Jupiter is he can give too much optimism because of which you forget the details. Now, is Jupiter a black planet? Well, definitely not. You know, optimism and vision is very important, but that doesn't mean you can do away with the details, right? Everything has its own place and everything should be in its place. So try to keep things in its place and not distort it. Uh, if you have too many files in your you know, documents, please arrange it. If your desktop is messy, then please arrange it. Now put ha Have folders for everything, you know, like uh, if you want to file your income tax returns, have your pay slips and whatever that you are searching for if you have invested in the stock market keep all the pnl statements properly uh, and if you have your own business then you should have your like you know income expense profit all these statements properly make do it in in excel sheet do it properly have a calculation track your expenses your profit your uh, which area are you spending money okay keep tracking all this and by that, and also in your profession, you know, list down 10 things which you need to do, uh, which can help you to succeed in your profession. Okay, so now, how will you make the list? It will depend on which houses Mercury is ruling, okay? Which are the houses? So, depending on the houses that Mercury rules, you have to make this list. So, for example, if Mercury rules your uh, seventh house, then as I said, you know, maybe seven things which I need to improve in my married life or in myself so that the marriage improves or if mercury is the lord of your 10th house then maybe 10 things to improve within me uh, by internal meditation or sadhana or willpower or whatever or external help you know you learn you take guidance you take consulting you take coaching and uh, improve your profession so if mercury is your lagna lord then yes help learn about health improve your health that's it so the more you do this, the more you will understand that this transit can actually be good for you. But only if you put in the uh, effort. Otherwise, 
you might be forced to surrender and leave something all right so that will be all from my side if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me please go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him thank you